Mission 73 on Rumble Suit Gundam Size Stories. VR missions. No, this is probably a Torrington based mission. Okay. Yeah, we're getting into the some more difficult missions, and it's not entire, not 100% sure, clear which particular side I should be on right now. But. I think I'm gonna keep it in the sort of null zone, just in case. Sort of little bit of each. Until I can figure out clearly what the F is going on. What's this name? I shouldn't know it. It's something I memorized for a very long time. Well, the only remember, the only reason I can remember Vincent Gleister is because uh, my name is Vincent. <laughs> I won't say what my last name is, I'll say it begins with a D. And it's not actually Devasia. I, I, I just used Devasia as my last name because my actual... I'd rather just not actually use my actual last name. Is that a mudrock? Shot out in front of me? Better than Mudrock as an ally that's flying out in front of me than an enemy that's flying straight towards me, I guess. Out of the way! You know, this thing says that it's just the standard type of Jagan, but really, uh, based on the details of this particular model, it's actually a Jagan D-type. Which isn't a very huge change, mind you, but it is enough, I think, to warrant a differentiation between a standard type and the D-type. I mean, it was enough for when, my, when I tried to explain to my brother the difference between a regular Jagan and a D Jagan that he said that the D type Jagan, its details were much preferable to those of the uh, regular type. Enough bombing. Unfortunately, when it comes to HGUC model kits, the D-Type Jagan was, uh, I think, a P-Bandai exclusive or something. The regular type was not. Close second would be the Ekoas type Jagan, which he finds preferable to the standard D type, to the standard, to the D type anyway, simply because it has more muted colors, little extra armor in certain places, and one of those flip down visors. And I don't disagree with him, but I'm not gonna, not gonna, I'm not going to dis Jagan simply because it's not. 
it's more preferably thing mobile suit or something. I don't know. I, I kind of have it in me to get the entire lineage of like all the Zaku's, all the Jaken's, all the things that I can. In HGUC form, if I can. <sighs> yeah, let's go back to this guy. He's got a mean slice. Legacy of the GM, the legacy of the uh, Zaku. Just like I want every uh, major variant of every mobile suit. Like I want the GM, the GM two, the GM three, the Jagan. I guess the Jesta. Well, since I already have the Jesta, but then the Jesta is an already cool looking uh, mobile suit in its own right. I should also get a Jesta cannon. A okay, bunch of gun installations. NP, I can deal with that. Shoot me! <laughs> you miss! <laughs> okay, we both missed. But I didn't miss a second time. Which is better than can be said for you because you didn't get the opportunity to fire a second time. Because I didn't give you an opportunity to fire a second time. Yeah, shoot straight into the wall. Great idea, I'm sure. Stormtrooper Academy would be proud of you. Hi, God. Guys having trouble. Okay, hi dog and a Zagok E. Two high dogs and a Zagok E. What is this? The Scarlet team? Given that there's GM cold climate types here. I'm guessing this is supposedly some sort of reenactment of the battle from Gundam 0080. The only difference is this is in the middle of an actual desert instead of... Was it the Arctic or the Antarctic? More. No consequence. You are now chop suey. You are cut above no one. Kind of a wonder why. St <sighs> what do I say? Of course, it's a wonder why certain mobile suits aren't in this game, like the Gundam Alex or something. I don't know. <sighs> Gundam Alex is even downloadable content.
プランとしては、一応作戦プランを再確認しないとな。期待の状況はどんなもんかな Hopefully, nothing too significant. Let's change up our other Xeon guy. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Who to pick, what to pick, where to pick, how to pick. Although there's some units that are just not going to get any love simply because we're at a point in the game where it will be too. <laughs> extravagant to have anything <clears throat> of a low level value take part in the mission because it would be smashed instantly. <sighs> what to pick? What to pick? You know what? I haven't given this one a chance to do anything yet. I really don't know much about it. I really do not. So, uh. What the hell? Probably a mistake not to level it up first, but whatever. Probably don't have nearly enough points to even begin attempting something like that. Plus, I have two other units that are of much higher value and better powered up than I am. So, there's that. No, it appeared to be on some sort of time limit. Targets. Rookie. Better than rookie. This thing is called a mega launcher. One shot does not take out a rookie gun tank. So there's that. Then again, I'm not leveled up much. But what? Oh, incomes. Very lame, they only fire one at a time. Their accuracy is shit. Okay. You're gonna die. Thanks. What the hell happened there? Oh, you. Okay! Okay, something. Yeah. Frick a frack. 
I am being ridden palely. Well, I'm not gonna let you ride me very long. And there I go. You know, why can't I use the missiles in my shield on this thing? I think that would be some kind of special attack, but no, all I get is a freaking beam saber. Really? The answer is no. Don't even try. Okay, well, Shin guns do absolutely nothing to you, so. Launch missiles for nothing. Okay, I think bringing the Dobin, the unleveled Dobin Wolf in here might have been part of the mistake. But oh my god, for an income capable mobile suit, its incomes are not that great. Thought that incomes actually are that great to begin with, but really? That was pitiful. So, we'll pick up again next time on Let's Play Mostly Good Inside Stories VR Missions.